Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 14th to October 20th, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. The cards already want to come out. Let's see. Spray angels and guys, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week, please. Virgo, Virgo. All right, so we do have the sun that showed up here. We also have here the eight of swords. Let me show you the card. Sun, eight of swords. Tell me more spirit, the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. We also have here the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords with the Ace of Wands with a Judgment card and also the Fool. All right, let's see. I feel like you're receiving communication from someone here with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Now this could be someone from your past with the Judgment card. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure if you're happy about this because we do have the sun card here. Um, so some of you might feel happy that this person's reaching out to you and communicating with you. But I don't know why we have the Ace of eight of swords. It almost feels like you're not allowing yourself to be happy or to feel happy it's almost like you're putting the brakes on your own self like you're excited but your um your mind is telling you like don't get too excited don't get too excited Hmm. Bottom of the deck here as well, we have the Fool. Interesting. Okay. The Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I see. And the Five of Wands. Okay. So it kind of looks like you and this person had a very rocky and um, a very rocky and a very tumultuous uh, relationship with each other. Um, I do feel like this person caused you grief and disappointment. Um, and with the full card, I do feel like you decided to break free from this connection or relationship that you had with this person. I do want to take a look at the full for some reason. So let me just, let me, let me clarify that. Spirit, what can you tell me about the full card here that came out with the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Cups? Okay, so we do have the lovers. We also have the hero fonts. We also have the emperor. Yeah, there's an energy of you wanting um you wanting to have a serious relationship with the hero font and the lovers. That's what you wanted to have with this person, a serious relationship and a serious commitment. But I do feel like um, this person didn't deliver on that or they didn't offer you that because there's an energy of you feeling disappointed that this person didn't go all the way with you. Actually, let me look at that. Yeah, let me just take a look at that. Tell me about the Five of Cups to the Five of Wands spirit with a Ten of Swords. Uh, 
so we have the three of wands. Yeah, some of you might have thought that this was going to be your future husband or your future wife or like your future, you know, or your next serious relationship. What's the five of cups? Five of one. All right, so four of pentacles. Tell me more. And also the eight of pentacles. It's like this person left you hanging or something like that. They left you wanting more from them. You wanted more from them. But I don't know what happened. I guess this person just kind of disappeared or ghosted you or disconnected from you. Seven of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Strength card. Yeah, I keep getting that this person, um, they weren't, um, like, they weren't supporting the relationship with you. They weren't, um, you know, creating growth with you. They were restricting um, how far the relationship went between the two of you. They were keeping it, it's like they were keeping it casual. They were keeping it casual with you, and I feel like that's not that's not what you wanted. I feel like what you wanted was um, a meaningful, serious relationship with them. Uh, it kind of looks like your heart was in it with the Two of Cups and the Strength card. This is someone who you felt a very strong connection with. Um, someone who you developed strong feelings for. So it was very disappointing for you, the fact that this person basically wasn't, reciprocate, wasn't reciprocating or didn't reciprocate, reciprocate your feelings for them and your desires with them. Yeah, you thought you thought that you two could have more or you you thought that you two should should have been more. But this person just kind of limited the relationship and um they weren't working together with you. They had their own agenda different than yours. Hmm. Okay. So, like I said, I do feel like you two parted ways or you disconnected from them or detached from them or they disconnected from you and detached from you. Um... But I do feel like this person is going to like unexpectedly pop up again because I am getting like an element of surprise or like just like un an unexpected energy. So I do feel like they are going to unexpectedly pop pop back up again and 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 message you and communicate with you. So let me look at your response here. Spirit, tell me about the eight of swords to the sun card. Yeah, it's kind of like you're in this energy of let me not get happy because the last time I got happy, I ended up disappointed. Hmm. Let me not get happy because the last time I got happy, I got disappointed. I ended up disappointed. What's the sun to the Eight of Swords, Spirit? The moon. Oh, Lord. The sun and the moon. I don't, I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. 
I don't like the, the way this person is affecting you. I, I feel like they're affecting you in ways that nobody should affect you. Hmm. You're a little bit too nice is what I'm, I think you're being a little bit too nice or you were a little bit too nice. You know, not, not surprising coming from a Virgo, not surprising. No, not surprising at all. I feel like you, I feel like you were a little bit too nice. Maybe a little bit too trusting. A little bit too nice and a little bit too trusting. That's, that's a lesson that you need to learn because I'm already noticing it. I'm already, I'm already noticing that that's a lesson that you need to learn. I feel like you can't be nice with everyone. I feel like you're just a nice person in general, which is a good thing, but you can't be nice with everyone, you know? You have to, like, use your discernment a little bit more. Um, not everyone deserves your, your niceness, you know? Uh, you know, it's, you shouldn't give it, you shouldn't give it away freely. You know, specifically in, in love relationships or love connections, you know. Don't give your energy away, you know, for free. Or don't give your kindness and your niceness away for free. Or so freely. Not for free. That's not what I mean. But like so freely. So freely. So easily. Um, you know, I feel like you need to test, test people out a little bit more or get to know them a little bit more, you know, use your intuition, listen to your intuition. Don't just automatically assume that people are going to be just as nice as you, you know, just because you're nice doesn't mean that everybody else is nice, you know? So you kind of have to protect your energy. Um, or you have to learn how to protect your energy a little bit more, is what I'm getting. Hmm. Tell me about the, uh, tell me more about the sun and the eight of swords. Seven of pentacles and the knight of wands. Yeah. You don't like it. I mean, you, you. This is why I'm telling you that you have to listen to your intuition. Like you're, you're already not liking it. You, you already don't feel good. Like you're already getting a bad vibe. You know, from this person. Because I do feel like this person is, like I said, they are resurfacing. They are popping back up into your life, and you, you're getting a bad vibe. And it, I feel like you need to trust that bad vibe that you're getting, if that makes sense. So I feel like the universe might be testing you, okay? Because I'm kind of getting that here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. I feel like the universe is putting you through a little bit of a test to see how much you've learned, you know? from your first experience with this person. Like, I feel like the universe is kind of telling you, like, did you get the point? Or do you need to go through it again for you to get the point again? For you to get the point, finally. Do you need to repeat the class all over again? Is that necessary? Mm -hmm. Or did you learn your lesson already? I feel like this. I feel like the universe is giving you some sort some sort of exam, and you're going to be graded on the exam. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Virgo, I'm going to stop the reading right here now, and I'm going to now continue um, in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.